So thank you. Hi. Um, I want to thank the committee for the, I guess, ARF um, for um, this opportunity and for the award. Uh, I think it's an incredible award for all of us here at UWT and by extension, you know, the community work we do, our, our community as well. So um, today I'm going to be talking to you about a project, a collaborative project um, with Kreb Brown's lab at the University of Victoria. And um, so this is me. Um, you can guess, get me on LinkedIn or, or Geek Facebook. Um, and uh, I live in Tacoma uh, with my family um, and loving it. So um, what we're going to talk today about is, is stroke, which is a, a blockage of blood to some area of the brain or a bleed in the brain. And it represents really one of the leading causes of disability and death, both in the United States and in Pierce County where we are. And I think really importantly, not only um, is it a tremendous uh, effect on disability and death, but um, if you look at how it affects people of um, lower income, it perfects them almost, you can, uh, the rates of stroke for people uh, who make less than $25,000 a year is about double that of someone who makes $75,000 a year. So finding um, ways to help people with stroke is a matter of equity and not just health. Um, unfortunately, when you have an insult where you lose brain cells, um, it's very hard to recover. The central nervous system, our brains, and our spinal cords don't have the ability to regrow a lot of cells and make new circuits. So what you lose, you have a little bit of ability to re um, rehabilitate, but not much recovery. And so um, there is some hope, and that hope comes in the form of something called the critical period. So the critical period is this time in development where an animal such as this, for example, um, has a higher ability to recover if it has an injury to its brain. So for this animal, for example, between seven and about 21 days of age, about a week to three weeks of age, um, if the animal has um, an insult to its brain or spinal cord during that time, its ability to recover is much better than earlier or later than that. And so we call this the critical period for brain plasticity. And really interestingly, it seems, and uh, a lot of us in the field um, have been pushing for this idea that there is this critical period for rehabilitation after stroke as well. So there's a recapitulation, a restarting of this period for plasticity that seems to happen similarly about a week after stroke occurs and continues to about two to three weeks after the stroke has occurred. Um, so this gives us a handle on right, when we need to start rehabilitation, what the timing is to regain that motion, um, motor capability to really start rehabilitating. But that still leaves open this big question as to what area of the brain or what cells should we be targeting. Um, and it, so it turns out that the middle of our brain, this area called the thalamus, acts as a relay station, like those old school kind of um, telephone stations where people would be putting in wires, sending information to one place or the other. The thalamus does that job. So all of our senses get routed to, from the thalamus to those areas of our brain that control, for example, motor function or hearing or vision. And the information sending ends of the cells that live in the thalamus um, are called axons. And those thalamic axons, or thalamocortical axons, um, seem to be really important. Because um, as uh, my collaborator, Craig Brown's lab and University of Victoria has found out, in an animal who's had a stroke in the motor area, if they artificially, experimentally stimulate these axons that go to that area, the animals who have had stroke can have a profound recovery response, right? So what they're doing is having a, an experimental stroke just in that area. They go in and they find these thalamocortical axons, the axons that are gonna go and control motor movement, and they're gonna go and see what happens to this animal when we go and stimulate those versus animals that we don't do that with, that we don't stimulate them to. So in animals that have a, had had a stroke, when they go and measure their motor function, what you can see is right after the stroke, at one week there, right, you're getting a huge drop in the motor um, 
capability of that animal, and that recovers to about 60%. So that animal has lost about 40% of its motor function. But look at what happens if you stimulate those thalamic axons, those thalamocortical axons. Now that animal has recovered by five weeks about 100% of its motor function, completely recovering the function that it lost due to the stroke from that stroke in the motor area. So thalamic axons, thalamocortical axons are really important. The, uh, the question is why? What are they doing and what does stimulation of these axons do? So what we're doing now is um, uh, Craig's lab is uh, getting this tissue and imaging these animals for multiple weeks after the stroke. And what they're doing in his lab um, if you can see this week 11 through week 15 here, is each of those little blobs is a little area that releases neurotransmitter from those thalamic axons. And what they're trying to do and see is how active are they? Um, what happens after we activate them? Do you get more? Do you get less? Right? But they really can't tell yet at that level what's happening to its anatomy. And to do that, we're getting that tissue, and my lab is preparing that, those same axons for what we call electron microscopy. Because electron microscopy allows us to see the anatomy, the inside, the pieces of that axon. And we think if we understand that, we'll be able to find out exactly what the pieces are that allow those axons to be important for recovery. So this is an image that are one of some of the first images that we're gonna have from staining this tissue that they give us finding these exact axons that they've recorded and trying to match up the anatomy with the activity of those axons. So thanks so much for your attention, um, and thank you for the committee and uh, my uh, funding. Thanks so much.